Before we start this video, I want to thank both DeWilsonator and JasperPie for making this whole effort possible. I'm beyond grateful that you've both given me this opportunity to work with you again, and I can't apologize enough for how long this took to get done. I hope you two understand. Either way, I'm going to link both of their channels in the description below, so please be sure to subscribe to both of them for more amazing stuff. Thank you all for listening, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Sam and Max, Freelance Police, in I'm Dreaming of a Pretentious Bloodshed, based on the period drama Saving Mr. DeMonico. Hey kids, has your government gone completely off its rocker? Again? Are your Saturday night binges being interrupted by the therapeutic sounds of gunfire, riotous cackling, and blood-curdling shrieks of agony? Well, congratulations! You're in the middle of the purge! For those fortunate enough to have been living under a rock, The Purge is a pretentious, self-deluded film series disguised as a politically deep message about the human race being a naturally violent species. I found myself appalled and offended by such a statement from those so-called scientists. So, I responded by rearranging half their skeletal structures into a decorative mosaic piece. <sighs> it's nice to see my little buddy finally have an appreciation for the arts. Oh god, please help me! I'm being mugged! <laughs> Anyways, The Purge itself is an annual 12-hour hissy fit where all crime is fine and dandy, and all emergency services are called off including law enforcement. Yeah. Which means that for 12 hours, we're not allowed to bust the skulls of CD punks on the taxpayers' die. We're freelancers, Picklehead. The taxpayers don't do anything for us anyway. Now we know what you're thinking. Why don't the two of you just join in on the supposed catharsis of theft, arson, and genocide? Surely you both got your own inner demons you want to unleash on the back of someone's skull? You'd think that, but really, Sam and I disregard the laws of morality every day. And we get paid to do it! Plus, it kind of stops being fun once you realize the government uses it to bump off the lower class. And the middle class, even. Just spoilers! So since our greasy pores of depraved bloodlust are pretty much cleaned out every other week, we decide to use this annual excuse to throw the mother of all temper tantrums to do the unexpected. <laughs> We hang up our firearms and take a bank holiday! Because even the freelance police need to treat themselves nice. You know, especially since we can't make a dime tonight! One hour before the purge officially commences, Max and I take it upon ourselves to stock up on snacks to last us over the next 12 hours. We only make sure to pick out all the dietary essentials. Hey Sam, do you think we'll need these dehydrated bullseye candies from 1976? Those are considered vegetables in some countries. Throw them on the pile, little pal. During these times of depraved freedom, any and all vindictive, cowardly money bags would definitely pay out of their noses to have one of their old foes shuffled off this mortal coil without consequences. So for the first hour of The Purge, Sam and I call up our resident neighborhood muggers and stranglers and commission them for a little spa treatment to help cleanse our trigger-happy nerves. Oh yeah. I gotta say, we kind of misheard when you said you were looking for brutes who were good with their hands. It happens every year, and we always fall for it. A cucumber or pomegranate lotion? After our pasty complexions are revitalized, we then spend at least eight or so hours binging on our favorite classic films. Right now, we're smack dab in the middle of Plague Dogs. Shh, Sam, here comes the funny part! <laughs> <laughs> I keep on saying this is what happens when you rile a dog up, but nobody ever listens. <laughs> Say, Max, I mean Sam, I just thought of something. How come we're not trying to protect our hides from the adrenaline crazed punks running outside our office? Excellent question, little pal. Purgers are basically oversized trick-or-treaters or Jehovah's Witnesses with baseball glove hands. You just show them a little love, and they'll be out of our oily scalps in no time. Death to the freelance pigs! Blessed be the new founding- <laughs> See what I mean? Ah, he didn't even take a piece of candy from the bowl. And then, once the sirens go off and the clock strikes the finishing hour, 
we participate in our most favorite tradition of all. Post purge, purge cleanup. Clean I got it! 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 We're back on the clock and called in for cleanup duty, dealing with the stragglers who decided to go into overtime. And we get to do it on the people's dime again! So there you have it, folks. How Blubberhead, I mean Max, and I spend the purge purifying our bodies and inner spirits. So remember, kids, treat yourself good so that you can deliver a rejuvenated foot into the ass of crime. And remember, never question the purge, because apparently it just works. 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 Well, it's definitely a lot more effective than, say, shutting down the government because of a certain president's plan for a stupid wall. Hey, I'm telling you, that wall leading right up to the Mushroom Kingdom would have pulled our nation out of the gutter. Think about it. Free health care every time you punch a block of bricks. <laughs> Problem solution. <laughs> And it's that kind of forward thinking that makes me regret voting for the other guy. Well, have a good annual purge, everybody. Blessed be our new founding fathers for this pretentious gore fest of cinema. Hey, give me some of those Funyuns, would you? For some reason, mass genocide gives me a hankering for dry oniony snacks. You crack me up, little pal. <laughs> Thank you.